unfortunately the tube won't grow up. It will grow up with the headstock, that's ideal. What I need to do is square up the end of this. This is running nice and true, and then machine and aluminium plug the glint to it, and I'm just going to glue the, glue the plug in with some Loctite. I need to make sure there's no paint inside of there. So I'm going to, and that's what you don't do. You never ever put your finger in a roll with every tape wrap around it. Because if it gets a grip, it'll pull your finger off without even thinking about it. So all you do, use a piece of dowel or a file handle, anything, anything except your finger. And I've had this file for a long time, and if I pull the handle off, it wouldn't make any difference. It never goes on this sick, it's never cheeky, it doesn't take the piss, it just does the job. So no pokey fingers, or pools like that. Lovely piece of aluminium round bar here, which was sent in by one of my viewers, because I don't have any aluminium bar, but I can get plenty of steel bar. Or at least I can get steel bar to do what I need to do with. But aluminium bar, I don't know anybody that works with aluminium. I'm going to face this, turn it on to be a nice tight bit in that tube, drill it and tap it. Quarter Whitworth, a quarter UNC. It's really nice great aluminium, it's machined nicely. It'll speed things up a little bit. Very nice. Now we need 2.5 mil off it. Touch it off. Two will put straight away. Right, that's going to be a nice tap in fit, which is just what we need. Leave a little shoulder on it. Which 
monkeys get it. Uh, he does drill in the top quarter. Strange old cameras. Use an imperial thread. Even brand new cameras or either quarter or five sixteenths. Tap and drill for a quarter. It's actually five mil on each yard, so five mil it'll be. We do want to go all the way through. That should be enough. Uh, we've got a quarter, you wouldn't see top here. Some nice threads in there. And I've got some bearing grade lock and compound here, which is designed for locking bearings in. It'll lock this in exactly the same. It take a lot just to get it spread around nicely. Hopefully that should just be a nice Hey yeah, that's going nowhere at all. Even without the lock tight that would go nowhere. Hey yeah, so the boss is now glued and pressed firmly into there. That slightly drops on there like that, you need to lock it up. So that, that pivots on that gimbal. I found a box of pieces in each camera mount top, that goes under there. All I need is a little bit of quarter, you won't see student to go in there, which I haven't got, so I'll let him make a bit of quarter student. And then we'll basically put it together and give it a try. Right, I've got a bit of quarter inch. I think it's silver steel, just to put some threads on to make the, make the stud with. I'm going to fail the tape around so the die starts nicely. That should do. And then we'll use the tailstock die holder. Just a bit of that we'll just repair it right as well, that's what it's for. Just to get the die started. A little bit of tail stock pressure just to keep it going on. Make sure the chug is nice and tight and good. Cutting the thread nicely, no dramatics at all.
do a job. And the screw simply screws into the end of there. And that screws on. And the camera screws onto there. So the camera basically is free to pivot and move around in there, use it as a hand to guide it. And I hopefully it should stop a lot of the jerky movement that I sometimes get. Anyway, it cost us absolutely nothing at all to make. I think I paid a tenner for that handle, and this is another leg of a tripod um, that I've kept. I've actually got two or three of these. Well, I've got three because it's a tripod. Tripods are threes, aren't they? Anyway. We'll give it a try next week and see what sort of results we get with that. Alright. Once again, it's just time to see you. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as usual, a massive thanks for all the kind words and well wishes that are coming in. Anyway, thanks for watching.